Hello and welcome to Improved Learning Channel. In this video, we'll explain the meaning of constant and variable and how to create a mathematical relation. Follow me. In the beginning, if we know that a bookshop sells each copy of a certain book for five pounds, can you know the price of two books, three books, or four books? Of course, we can easily know by multiplying the price of one book by the number of books. So, the price of two books given by multiply 5 times 2, which equals 10 pounds. And the price of three books given by multiply 5 times 3, which equals 15 pounds. In the same way, the price of four books is equal 5 times 4, which equals 20 pounds. And finally, if the number of books was unknown and symbol x tends to it, we can say that the price of the number of x books is equal to 5 times x, which is equal 5x pounds. And if you pay attention now, you find that the price of one book is 5 pounds. Doesn't it change every time? So we say that the price of one book is a constant. As for the number of books and the price of books, it changes every time. Now, if the symbol x tends to the number of books and Sample y tends to the total price, so we say that the number of books and their total price are variables. And we can express the total price of x number of books as follows. y equals 5 times x, or y equals 5x. Such that y tends to the total price of books and x tends to the number of books. In general, we can say that the relation y equal 5x relates to the two variables x and y and call a mathematical relation. From this relationship, we can get the value of y according to the value of x. If x equal 2, then y equal 10. If x equal 3, then y equal 15. If x equal 4, then y equal 20. If x equal 5, then y equal 25. And in the same way with any number. Now, let's see an example of how to determine the constant and variable in a mathematical relation. In this example, we want to determine both constant and variable in the following relations. The first mathematical relation is y equal x plus 5. We note that the symbol y represent a variable and symbol x represent a variable with the number 5 represent constant then we have two variables and one constant x and y are variables and 5 is a constant as for the second mathematical relationship which y equal 2x negative 10 we notice that in this relation there are two variables or y and x and there are two constant numbers r 2 and 10 now let's see another example of how to create a mathematical relation in this example an isosceles triangle abc with base length 5 centimeters we want to find a mathematical relation between the length of its sides and its perimeter first we have to find the parameter of a triangle by assuming that the symbol B represents the parameter of the triangle ABC and the symbol L represents the length of AB. Since the triangle is isosceles, we can say that the length of AB equals the length of AC equal L centimeters. And we know that the parameter of any triangle equal to the sum of all sides. Thus, we can say that Perimeter B equal L plus L plus 5, which is equal to L plus 5 centimeters. And this is a mathematical relation which represents a relation between the length of sides of the triangle and its perimeter. In the end, I hope that the explanation was perfect. And don't forget to practice by doing more exercise for this topic. Thank you for watching and listening and see you next time.